After three years of the Wii's release, Wii owners finally get an FPS that's actually worth owning. The game was hyped when it was announced since a lot of Nintendo fans were looking for a good first person shooter. Now that the game is finally here, I think it's safe to say that it was worth the wait. Maybe that's there really that's isn't much to the story. The, the game starts off with your character, Michael Ford, saying that he's the, the only one who knows the truth because he was there. To see the lies and conspiracies for what they are. Threads and evidence that lead to the truth. They see the connections behind seemingly unconnected events and begin to learn about the powers that actually shape our world. The game takes you along with some twists and turns in the story, but you can tell that the focus in this game wasn't in its story. It would be hard to talk about the story without spoiling anything, but it's not something you're going to get odd by. There's one coming in from the, vent. the graphics in the game are some of the best for the Wii. The textures look good and the character models can look pretty cool too. There's a couple of slowdowns in the frame rate, but nothing too serious. The sound in this game is okay. There really isn't any memorable music in the game, but the highlight in the sound is the voice acting. They got the job done and can sound convincing. It's not the best, but it certainly works. Big highlight from the voice acting is when you occasionally you find radios hearing this one guy talk, bad. and he can actually sound really convincing. It's really interesting to listen to this. This is what we've been looking for. The game itself is actually really fun. The controls are pretty much your standard first person shooter's controls for the Wii, but without the set. The beauty of the controls is that it's completely customizable, making it e being usable for anybody. During the game, you'll find yourself going around corridors just shooting up bad guys. The enemies are decent enough in their intelligence, but it can be pretty dumb too. They'll use cover well, which is the main highlight in the AI, but sometimes they'll like to stand out in the open or run into certain death. Still, the enemies can't put up a fight, so Nearby, using cover for yourself is the wise choice. One of the things that the game has is called the all-seeing eye. It's a device you can use to scan out hidden mines and look for certain triggers to op open up doors. It can also be used for finding secret weapons to dominate we your no enemies. Use the ASE device to hack into the main computer. The multiplayer in the game is actually the highlight of the game and probably the reason to get it. It's surprising for a Wii game, isn't it? It actually provides some of the more smoother online action on the Wii. There's some lag spots here and there, but the action flows smoothly. The mo I've actually had more fun with the online multiplayer here than most other shooters are out there. You can tell that the multiplayer was influenced by GoldenEye, the classic Nintendo 64 game. You'll find yourself running through corridors and shooting your way through opponents. One of the things here too is that teamwork is actually one of the smart choices here, seeing that it can take a lot to bring down your enemy. If you have a way, I would recommend this game. The game is a lot of fun, but the biggest problem in this game is that it's generic. But the good thing is that it provides a lot of fun, so you'll probably look past that flaw. So I'd say to at least check the game out. 